Hello everybody, Leo Arctica here. Welcome to the Terrible Old Man. Now this is a H.P. Lovecraft inspired game, and it's actually a story I do not know anything about. I've, I love H.P. Lovecraft's stories, I love the universes he's made, I love the whole occult stuff about Cthulhu and everything, but I don't know anything about this one. And I found it on Game Jolt, and completely free, so I thought I might as well give it a go. It's been a while since I've, since I've play anything horror related. I know it's going to be horror related because it's made by H.P. Lovecraft. Why not? So yeah, I have no idea what this is about. I guess I'll find out. I'll, I'll probably look up the book or something about the Terrible Old Man, if there is a book about one. And obviously I'll leave a link in the description below um, if you guys want to try this out for yourself. I have no idea how long this is, so I'm just going to stop stalling it right to it then, shall we? Here we go. Okay, I appear to be in some kind of bar. Oh. Oh, who's this? <laughs> you, what's you? You, you got a sour-looking face there, don't you, buddy? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to put voices on for these people. I can't just read this normally, but he looks like it's, it's probably me on this one. But he looks Scottish or Irish. It's pro, it's, I think it's the hat. I think it's the hat. I'm so sorry to any Irish or Scottish people watching me. I mean, no harm in doing this. So, Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? Is this Angelo? Okay. You look like a you look like you look like a mobster. I think it's the hat once again. I say we head out tomorrow. It's a, it's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying here for? Oh I say just a night. Gotta keep moving. Okay. Why have they got such weird looking eyes? I love the art style by the way. Um um and and, and, and then we head back to Arkham. Okay. That's right. We're talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action. You know? <laughs> no, I don't. Though I think I kind of do. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She got something going on, don't she? Where? What? Oh, you mean that? You mean that lady in pink? Okay. Incredible! What the? Shiznik? Shiznik? I'm so sorry about butchering that name. I so. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm just going to get my drink over. I'm, wasn't, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this name, but I'm going to try and say how I see it. S snick Zinek. Zinek? Why don't you go take, take your pasty ass over there? Give her your best line. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Get her some beers while you're at it. She got some cash from the old broad the other night. Oh. What, oh, did you guys rob someone? Are these guys are these guys robbers? Or burglars? Am I playing as the bad guy? Yeah, I got a few books left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so cold, she couldn't even get out of the house and spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Manuel you spent on hooch and let it sit there gathering dust for two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, give us some beers, boy. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm playing now. Okay. Left click to interact, right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move cursor to top of the screen. Okay. Oh, why am I moving? Oh, I clicked. Oh, I see it clicked on the thing. Did I just click on the arrow? Okay. Alright, so I have a car key and some money. I got a couple of bu bucks left. It's the key to our fat automobile. Okay. Cur okay. Examine. Some fancy little curtains. Don't suit this guy, Bob, one bit. They tried to decorate this dump with some old prints. Oh, I see pictures. Some more pictures. Some news clippings about an incident at the local port. It came from a paper called the Kingsport Bugle. Okay. More pictures? Some, there's nothing interesting here. Just dusty pictures of local goons. Okay. So, right click here. It's one mighty fine looking bra. What's she doing this bit of the tear? I do not know. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the voices. I don't think I'll be able to keep them in order if I'm going to do multiple voices, but I'll try. Mm -hmm. Hey there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. <laughs> I love the way this guy talks. Oh, go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. 
Jeez. That's one the angry woman. <laughs> Struck out again, Snick. Suit yourself. Yeah. Okay, so what we got here. We got two men and the barman. This guy looks like my cousin Peter. But cousin Peter he ain't. Okay. Some local goon. I guess this might be the owner of this ear establishment. He'll be giving us the look ever since he walked we walked in the door. Why are you giving us the look? I don't know what look you're giving us, but I don't like it. Stop it. I guess I should go talk to him. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? In Innsmore? Innsmouth? I probably pronounced that wrong, I'm so sorry. None of your goddamn business! Just give me some beers! Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk here are nice in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers! Will I order? Please. <laughs> I was expecting something else. That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Oh, I got two dollars. Okay, so what? Do I click and drag? No. Do I just... Oh, I just click it. Okay. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. What was that? What was that? What was that head movement? Gosh darn it! The barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. Oh. Hey. Dicky been. Oh God! Look at his face. Dicky been eating his dinner yet? Oh God! Look at your face. What's wrong with your eye? Are you a? You look like a ghoul from um, from um, Fallout New Vegas. There was a there was a there was a character in Fallout New Vegas where when he was in the strip. No, it wasn't the strip. It was the um. It was uh, oh, I forgot free free side. I was in free side, and if you were working for this casino, you had to go collect money from people. And this guy looks like looks like that ghoul, except he's got hair. Okay, I swear, he sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and didn't even so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You take it to Doc Reeves, you get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run in with the old family the other night. Shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man? Former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town. Pays his groceries in golden doubloons. Oh, God, that's nice. I heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. Yeah, I heard he talks to bottles he's lined up at the table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. Okay. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Okay, this guy's crazy. Yeah, most peculiar chap. Best avoid, I think. No need to upset such folk. Yeah, I'm trying my best to kill in my throat. I'm, I'm doing my I'm doing my ghoul voice from Fallout. So you need to teach Dicky a bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see. Oh, that was at the beginning of this, of this video. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about exactly what happened. Why have you got a wobbly face? Oh, dear. Why have you got a... Why? Has everybody got wobbly faces? We all made of plasticine or jelly or something? He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' front windows and, well, they ain't gonna be too happy, no matter how feeble they are. I told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he kept in clipper ships in the east uncountable years back and brought back untold treasures. Ooh. Sorry about the way. Here's your beers. Tinks. I gotta say I love the I'm not I'm not doing anything. I gotta say I love the art style of this. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date for that fraud? He wish he wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well spit it out. I heard this these two chaps speak about a crazy old man who lives in the town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. <laughs> Heck! Gold doubloons? He didn't so much as smile. Yeah, he got, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. Rich and senile old fart. Hey, don't be disrespecting me, old people. 
Especially if they've got connections to Cthulhu. I can never pronounce it. Is it Cthulhu or Cthulhu? You guys tell me. <laughs> this sounds like a sitch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man then? I don't know. He didn't say. Find out, Snick. Find out. We can fi me find riches tonight. Okay. So what? Do I... Do I... I, I do I talk? Oh, I clicked, clicked on the barman again. Sorry. Oh. I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Before I get to the main stuff, I'll try this. What can you tell me about that bride over there? Oh. No, I said I just repeated myself. She's in, she's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line at work? Why do you ask her yourself? Oh, okay, so I get to talk to her again. Well, I, I'll go check that out right now. Late, later. Let me know if you want those drinks refilled. King Sports, finest cheap booze. I gotta do, I got a job to do first. Okay, so let's go talk to her. She gonna reject me again? You know anything about the rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you're back again. Don John doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? I'm a very persistent poison, ma'am. I don't know the old man. You lie. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. That didn't go down well. It's gonna kick our asses out the door if I start helping myself so much as I'd like to. What? Oh, I clicked, I clicked on the embar. Okay. They got a decent selection there. Sam good hooch. I clicked on the bar, not the bar man. Okay. I already off. Oh, wait. What? What can you tell me about those two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. Oh, okay. What he said. Okay, I guess. Okay, then. <laughs> I guess I'll ask them myself. You know anything about the rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pfft. <laughs> Later. Let me know you want those drinks. Okay, I guess he's got nothing else to say, right? Okay, so I guess we talk to these people. Say, fellas, what, what was that you what was that you guys were saying about the old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed, he is. Shovels around with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. You, I don't want to be, I don't want to be too, too invasive just yet. Anyway, my ear is hurting a bit. I still got a bit of an ear infection, but it's, it's getting better at least. You said something about bottles. Sometimes people see him through his window with a line of cup of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside it. Pendulums. Pendulums, some say. And he's been seen to chat with them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap might have lost his mind. Too much time at sea. He was a sea captain? Yeah. Though through, though back in time nobody remembers. Rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. Some say he talks to the bottles that they were his crew members. Ooh. Did he did these bottles hold the souls of his of his crew? What else do you know about? Him? You ask a lot of questions, stranger. Yeah, leave us be. Oh. Okay. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, it's suburb of Boston. City boy, huh? Cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Okay, last one. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is too. One well, of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I adventure. What's the address? Oh, you figured a visiting me, are you? Why on earth would you want you to go see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? Uh, um, uh, no. Good. The last thing we need in town is to outside to bring this wayward criminal ways with them. Okay, well, I shouldn't be talking to you, should I? So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you, outsider? Okay, we're traveling Sam. We wish to interview him for the local paper. We are his long lost relative. We found something that belongs to him. We wish to return it. We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Okay, that sounds bad. Um, 
I guess this makes sense. We wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh yeah? What's the name of the local paper then? The Telegraph, The Times, The Kingsport Commune, The Kingsport Commune. Oh! Oh, that's that. Is that the local paper? Okay. What happens if I do? What happens if I choose something wrong, though? The tabs. Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar. Oh, just ends the conversation. Okay. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? Let me try that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kingsport Bugle. The Kingsport Bugle. Huh. <laughs> That old rag has been printed for years. Lies, lies, and more lies. Oh. Um. Okay, so it's not the Kingsport Bugle? Huh, weird. What do I do now? I'm already dreaming of spending gold to blue, Zinek. What are you gonna buy, Manuel? What are you gonna buy, Manuel? A dog? One of them really fancy ones. I'm gonna name him Jackson. Got the address yet? I'm working on it. Uh, what about the barman? Oh, he doesn't say anything. Does the does the lady say anything? Not you again. I'm busy. Yeah, what are you working on? Apart from looking pretty. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what's your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa! A big shot! Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Oh, is that, the, is that what I'm looking for? Interesting! Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on, lady! Okay, so now I got the information. Is it, is it true now? Is it gonna work? I got mixed up before. We're from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We got journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us quite a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but it's getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property back on the Ship Street, near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones, an unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay. It said I could say. Oh, oh, I say I can say. I was gonna say. Can I say? Yes, I can. I'll say. All right then. Thank you very much. Okay, so I just go talk to. I just go talk to the boys again. Oh, I can't. I can't talk to Silva. Can I talk to Ricky? Oh, I can talk to Ricky. Okay. Phyllis, I got the address. Good work, Zanny. Good work, Zanny boy. Where is he? Back entrance on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Zanek, you take the car. Sylvia and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive, se if we arrive se pre separately. Nah, it's planned. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. This is going to go badly wrong for us, isn't it? Later that evening. Okay. Okay, the music's kicked up a bit. All right, here we are. What's the plan? What's the plan, boss? Silver, you and I are going through here and through the gate. Snick, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light up there. Snick, you have, can you have a better look? I've got to make sure he ain't watching us. You mean up there? Can't see what's in the mirror. That's the old man, that old man's house looks ancient. We don't have houses like that where I come from, that's for sure. But it smells and must be old rotten socks or some such. That's an odd looking gate. I'm not messing with the gate until we set, we're set to go. Well, you could be tra well, we could try climbing over using that street pole. But the gate seems more a conventional, conventional choice. The street lies lying up the whole goddamn world. We should move quickly tonight. It's not time to go yet. 
We didn't pay a damn for this classy rat. Some old codger back up in Harkin was probably still cursing us and swiping it. So they stole that car, okay. So what am I looking for? I've got a key. Ah, there's a trunk here. What am I supposed to be looking for? A telescope or something? Trunk is locked by a solitary tantrum. I got a key here. Will that work? It doesn't fit. This key is just for the ignition. Oh. So one of you guys have got it? See, Ricky, you don't have the key for the trunk, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you lost the goddamn keys, Nick. No, no. What about you, Silva? Okay. What do you think of this place? Oh, the house looks like it's been seen better days. Hey, let's gab it. Get... Hey, this is the wrong person. Hey, let's gab it. Get to work, Snick. Where do you think those standing stones are from? Beats me? They gave me the creeps. Do you have the key to the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Tinks. Alright, so now I've got two keys. Trunk key, okay. Okay, good robber comes well prepared. Got a spyglass, crowbar, and some masks. Okay. Oh, I just, I just saw the old, I just saw the old man walk, walk, in, walk into the window. I can't see what's in the window. It looks like someone's in there. It's too far away. I ain't climbing up there. Okay. All right. Got a trunk, a trunk key, a uh, spyglass, masks, and a crowbar. Do I need the spyglass? For the window? Ooh. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. He's in there. Silly old fool looks like he's an easy target we ever had. Good work, Snick. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we're quiet out, out here, he shouldn't notice it. He's engrossed in his queer little pews pursuits. Pathetic! You got our mask then? Yes, I do. Do I give him to you? Here's the masks. Okay. Get that gay open. How? Oh, you mean with the crowbar? I've been the one who's supposed to be doing this? Okay. Tink. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that didn't make any noise at all. Yeah, we're in. Good work, Snick. Okay, Silva, let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to, we may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is a senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Hmm. <laughs> Don't go too hard in the old goat. We'll do what we need to do. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silva, you hit the nail on the head. Snick, way here in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. I need to put my mask on. Remember, be gentle. Well, as gentle as you can be. One hour later, I'm in the car. What the hell is taking him so long? I know that scream. <laughs> what happened? I better not knock the old fella off. I told him. I told him they shouldn't go too hard, the old goat. I told him that, yeah. Hey, they hit a kid. Oh, I didn't do that. I'm not in control anymore. Okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> How you doing? You just, what do you want? You just doing the old man shuffle? You, you, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, did I die? Oh, God. What happened there? Is that... Oh, that's us. Are we dead? Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Oh. Oh, okay. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. And I think he just murders everybody who comes to his house. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Oh, that's it? Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Alright then. I guess that's it. I was expecting it to be much longer than that. But hey, short and sweet. Just how I like it. But that was really, really cool. It was, like I said, it was really short. I'm so sorry for the voice. My throat is gone now. <sighs> thanks for playing. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, it's done in 2015. This is old. Oh, how you doing? Barracuda egg. Okay. What the? What the frick? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it doesn't look like it's broken my recording. So, as I was saying, I really enjoyed this. It was really short, but hey, it was it was fun to watch. It was fun. It was fun to read and watch. And my throat is completely gone because of all the voices I've done. I'm so sorry if some of those voices or whatever words I I used were offensive in any way. I'm so sorry. Don't blame me. So yeah, anyway, I guess that's it. I guess I'm gonna find something else to do now. If you guys wanna try this out for yourself, obviously I'll leave a link in the description below and you can try it out for yourself. So I'm gonna go find out more about the terrible old man, see if I can find the book about it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Click the links below if you see the beginning, beginning of, well, actually, what am I talking about? I'm so used to saying this. Click the links below to see any other, yeah, if you, if you wanna see any other horror games I've played or any other Flash games, I guess this is made in Flash or something. Um, you've got, if you guys have got any other game joke games you want me to try out, you're more than welcome to suggest them to me. I need, I need to play more game joke games, whilst I'm still trying to finish God of Year 3 and um, uh, uh, Mutant Year. I have been recording them, but unfortunately, because of my ear infection, I can't really wear my headphones for very long, although I've been able to wear them for almost half an hour now, so I think the infection started to go away. So hopefully I'll be able to do more recordings as time goes on. So anyway... Thank you so much again, and to the next episode, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye!